One of our hardest sequences in the movie was the bridge sequence. So we have to get across this. The bridges are a sequence that we started to develop for the first movie. So that's an idea that had been in our heads and something we'd been talking about for quite a while. It's just about finding the right timing. Come on, come on, come on. It's a very complicated sequence to do. We always loved it, but it just fit better in this story. The idea of hundreds of floating bridges with actors running around on them seemed extremely challenging and like it was gonna be a neat little engineering project to work out, which made me extremely excited. Bridges are by far the most complicated thing in the movie to execute. That action sequence is just really spectacular. When I first read it, the idea of just hundreds of rope bridges floating through space kind of came at me like, okay, how in the world are we going to get all these bridges floating around on a sound stage? as I assume that's where we would be filming most of it. Those kind of sets are really tricky to do because one, you can't really go over ravines with like wild mandrel monkeys attacking you. But we had to give them enough to work on. So the best thing to do on that was to build a series of bridges in different sizes and shapes and configurations. Yeah! We had to kind of make short ones and long ones and then ones that would intersect with each other, but they kind of float in the sky. And we don't have to explain how they go up and down. This is a video game world. See, it's no big deal. Once we came up with the design, we worked backwards from there to figure out how much weight we could hang from the ceilings and make every shot work. <laughs> It was actually the first stuff that we shot. So as soon as the actors got to Atlanta, the first thing we did was put them on wooden bridges and tell them to start screaming at guys dressed in blue screen. My first day here, they had me up on a rope. I was like swinging. We pushed all the characters and it's much harder and much further, especially with practical action. We managed to do all the jumps, the transitions and everything practically. As you pass them, we just got this side. The monkey bridge was something I was really nervous about because it was this big stunt where there was a giant mandrel that had to pick me up, spin me around and throw me off of the edge of the bridge. And I remember thinking, there is no world in which I do this. And then just cut to me screaming in terror and it was happening and I did it. Oh, freaking hell. I have to give Karen a shout because when we did that sequence, she was scared five feet off the ground, and that's all Karen doing it. That's gonna Thank be good. You. It's really hard to shut off that caution part of your brain because it's quite a useful tool to stop you, you know, dying, but <laughs> um, it's quite satisfying to overcome things like that. Come on, I got you! Dad! Ah! Ah! I always want to challenge myself, and I think that this movie challenged me in a way that wasn't so much that it was so difficult. It was that I never thought that I could do stuff that this character is doing. It's a lot. It's an interesting day. She'd never really done action before, but she just was like, yeah, I trust you, let's go. And she just ran. She just committed from the first take 100%. Yeah, I pulled it off. When you're reading it on paper, you're just like, what? Like, that's just crazy. But everyone on this crew knows exactly what they're doing. Everything on that page became real. We should go, 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 go. Oh. They were tiring days because you're acting with things that you can't see that aren't there. But our director is so good with painting these visuals. There's a lot of me standing there with the microphone saying, and it's looking at you and it jumps. He's like, and then you guys are gonna run and the mandrels pop out. And they're like, ah. It's the funniest shit that I've ever seen. It's funny because <laughs> when you're doing stunts, sometimes you feel cool, but then other times you're just like, this can't be cool. Like, this, like I can't be selling this. But then they make it look cool. They all did great. Yeah, they all did great. It's hard to watch them all because they just make you laugh nonstop. You know, everything. So I'm going to go. Uh, no. <laughs> to trust everyone around me, believing in me, and then to believe in myself, and then to actually execute it, it makes me feel really good. Hey, you guys. Is that rock moving? These mandrels, which are these enormous monkeys with these brightly colored faces, were sort of the perfect terrifying threat for our heroes as they try to traverse these very video game-like moving wooden bridges. Those mandrels are like nothing you've ever seen. They're angry, they're vicious, they're colorful. 
we used Weather Digital down in New Zealand and their team was fantastic from start to finish. Their expertise in this area brought an awful lot of confidence for Jake and they also brought ideas to the mix on how to really amp things up. Nobody creates monkeys better than Weta. The CG creatures, there's this push-pull, like how close can we get to the face? How believable is it gonna be? There's this thing in visual effects called the uncanny valley where as you get closer to reality, it starts to fall apart. And Weta have definitely crossed that valley very strongly and can produce animals that you just believe. So what you end up with is an absolutely photoreal version of how it would be if 400 mandrels were running across bridges, you get the real flex and dynamics. When we first watched that, it looked amazing. You shoot the sequence and the visual effects guys are doing their thing. And then there's that moment where they start to render these creatures and it starts to like really, really get good and realistic and lifelike. And that's kind of mind blowing. It takes the movie up a whole other level because it looks amazing. We went into this knowing that the pressure was on and we got to raise the bar. It's Jumanji, so when it's Jumanji, it commands us. And you're really working on it every day that you're making the movie for like a year and a half. And I've come to just love doing that. It's something that I didn't realize I would love as much as I do, but it's been great fun.